Happy Hump Day. How y'all doing out there? Welcome to Punchathon on Facebook Live number 81. That's right, y'all, number 81. Woo! I don't know about y'all, but where I am, it is hot. Uh, it's hot in the studio. Uh, it's just, it's just, you know, it's that time of the year. What can I say? I know that a lot of places in the country are facing unbearable temperatures. I even know that uh, places outside in other countries are dealing with unbearable first time highs. So I ain't gonna complain. How y'all doing out there? I hope everybody's doing fine. This is our man. It is. Um, it's already the end of July. Do you believe that? Hey, what's happening, Mr. William Jones? How you doing, brother? Um, yes, it's already the end of July. Do you believe that? Uh, I had a very, very wonderful experience this weekend. We did our very first book signing at Overdue Recognition Art Gallery in Bowie, Maryland. Uh, we had a really nice turnout. Um, lots of books were purchased, lots of books that were signed. Um, it was a very, very nice event. I'm very, uh, uh, um, hey, I'm, I'm just pleased at the outcome. I'm pleased at the reception to the book. And we are getting ready for our August schedule where we'll have at least two or three more book signings in the DMV, the District of Columbia, Maryland, Virginia. We will be touring throughout the country, but those are the locations we're doing first. Um, so hopefully you guys will get to see me at one of those shows. Hey, what's happening, Marilyn Garfield? Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you. Hey, Khabibi Ajanku, thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, y'all. So this is our last show for a while. That's right, y'all. We are going on hiatus in August so that I can focus a little bit on these book signs. As you can see over my shoulder, all of those are book boxes that have been opened and discarded on the side. So we are getting towards the end. We have shipped upwards of 475 books so far. Uh, we got all about to start our campaign order out. Uh, if you are didn't get yours, then you probably didn't supply your updated address. We've only had a few situations where uh, books have come back. Hey, Jackie Hoskins, thank you so much for checking in. Hey, Jackie, what's going on? Hi, the baby sister is on the show today. So, yeah, if you didn't get your book, uh, it's probably because you didn't give me your updated information. Go to LarryPontoBrown at gmail.com to send me your updated address. And we will take care of it. I had a couple of people where the book went to them and then they had it returned back. It's a nuisance, but it comes with it. And I can't complain because out of 475 books, we have not had a lot of things returned. So thankfully, y'all have done a pretty good job of getting me y'all information. Hey, what's happening, uh, Akusawa? You, you are one of the ones that just recently went out. You were towards the end of my list. All of the remarks went out last. I wasn't separating you out or, treat, or mistreating you. Uh, I had to kind of go in steps to make sure that I, my job was done thoroughly because my brain been frazzled. But I've been sending the wrong prints to the wrong people while I'm dealing with these books. So I'm hoping I'll be able to regroup my mind and everything uh, sometime this month. So thank you so much. I'm glad you were late. I'm glad you enjoyed the book. Hey, if any of you uh, feel to come on the show today to articulate how you feel about your book, go to my Facebook page or go to the Art of Poncho or Larry Poncho Brown page. You'll see something that says um, uh, join us live. Just click that link. It'll come into the studio and you can chit chat with me about your book. Hey, uh, you know, uh, William Jones is is something else, man. He weathered the heat on our, uh, it was a very hot day. Luckily, there was great air conditioning in the overdue recognition art gallery. So, but it was still very, very hot this weekend, but people came out, they weathered the storm and I'm, I'm very, very pleased. Hey, thank you, Akuswa. Well, I know you weren't worried, but you know, I guess somebody's got to be towards the end of the list. I just wanted to know you were taken care of, and I appreciate you being patient because I didn't get one of those, where's my book emails? Like, <laughs> I started getting a few of those, especially since, hey, you know what? I want to thank you all that got your books and you've been hashtagging Poncho Retrospective and you've been showing your book online. Because we have photographs all over the internet right now of folks that received their books, and that also has helped too. So thanks a lot. Hey, what's happening, Sheila Wright? Love, love, love. Thank you. I appreciate you. Sheila came out to the show this weekend. So again, I'm very, very appreciative. 
hey, y'all, we're going to get to the house uh, rules. But hey, this is our last show for a little bit. We're going to go through August. We're going to see what happens in September. But right now, I'm certain that I'm going to be off the month of, of August, um, t- chanting two shows and all that. So uh, this will be our last show for a while. But hey, give me time to get some new things for the lineup and all that. So yeah, let's get ready to get into the uh, house rules. Hey, you're going to place the item number in the word sold in the comment stream, okay? Right underneath the video in the comment stream. Uh, all of our items are accompanied by a number on the lower right-hand side of the, of the screen. All you have to do is remember that number and the word sold, and we will reserve that item for you. The most important part of this whole transaction is to make sure you inbox us your email address and shipping address at the Art of Poncho or LarryPonchoBrown.com or LarryPonchoBrown at gmail.com, and we will send you a account. Okay. Very, very important. Sometimes we got to track people down. Most of the time we do, but every now and then, a few of you fall through the cracks. I hope that we are getting a good signal today because, you know, sometimes we suffer with uh, our signal um, bouncing around today. It looks like it's bouncing around a little bit. So hopefully you guys can tell me whether things look okay and sound okay. Uh, Also, there's a $15 flat rate shipping per package. That's right, y'all. So uh, this show has a couple of different items. If it requires two packages, you will be billed for two packages. But usually we try to fit everything in one box, okay? All you YouTube viewers out there, and sometimes we have been lately, we've been getting a lot of YouTube viewers. Uh, make sure you send me your selections to the art of at gmail.com. Just jot down your items, numbers as you go along the show. Uh, everybody's got a different style. Some people do it as the items come up, some people just make notes and then send it towards the end. Whatever strike the fancy, as long as I get them sent to Larry Poncho Brown at gmail.com, we will also take care of your order. And I know. I don't like PayPal. I don't like using PayPal. I got it. I ain't mad at you. We use PayPal to keep track of your orders. You don't have to pay through the PayPal. What you do is that we'll send you the invoice. You can get it. And if you want to pay us to cash out, just put the order poncho. Please don't omit the shipping when you send me your cash app. Some people do that. Don't move fast and see something on the show and just send me the cash app. Wait until you receive the PayPal invoice first. And that is the house rules, pretty much. What are y'all drinking, y'all? I am drinking the last of my Perrier pineapple, uh, you know, because these st- I have a little bit of ice in here. Woo! What y'all drinking out there? Because y'all got to be drinking something interesting with all this heat. I'm telling you. It has been really, really hot out there. Okay. So, look, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm encouraging you all, if you have the time to uh, tune into the show, just go in out on Facebook and... Uh, Click that link, come to the studio, chit-chat with me a little bit about your book. We're going to do that. And uh, also, um, I will be telling you, hey, what do we got coming up soon? You're going to have to pay attention to my Facebook page because I got a couple of book signings lining up. I think my next one is at Serengeti Gallery, which is in Capitol Heights, Maryland. The one after that is going to be at the Wellness um, Manor in Upper Marlboro. Um, that's going to be, and then we have another one coming up in DC, but I'll announce all of those dates with me being gone in August. You're going to have to pay attention to my Facebook page to find out when those shows are going to be, but we'll be doing it. We'll be sending out emails too. So just kind of follow us if you can. Hey, what's happening loud. Thank you for checking in. Hopefully all is going well. All right, y'all with that, we're going to go ahead and get the party started. You know how we do it. Item number one. Wait a minute. I got 25 on the screen. Number one, you know, when I take this break and come back, I'm going to be really trying to learn how to redo this again. Sometimes when you do the show on a regular basis, you get a little flow going, and then sometimes it's like, uh, 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 but we are going to make it either way. Um, Item number one. If I can get to one, there you go. See how I'm I'm already befuddled? Item number one, y'all. It's a piece called Tropicana. This is a micro print. We describe a micro print as being anything less than eight and a half by 11 or less than 11 by 14. Uh, this piece is already matte. It comes with a purple mat. Uh, all, all of these pieces come signed. Tropicana's got my favorite color in it. Yeah. I do a lot of small originals that are these real tranquil, serene pieces, uh, meditative, introspective. Item number one is Tropicana. It uh, sells for just $10. If you'd like that, just put item number one and sold. And Tropicana, the Meta Microprint, will be yours for just $10. Item number two, 
another micro print. This one is entitled Transcendence. Yes, we do have a big limited edition of this piece, but this is a nice little small piece for all you people to say, I don't have no more space on my wall. And you got these light switch covers and all these little small spaces you could put things. You got these mantle pieces where you can you can put you can put a frame piece on a on a plate stain. That's right, y'all. You got to use your imagination. Item number two is transcendence. This piece right here measures eight and a half by eleven, pops into a standard eight by eleven frame. Hey, you know you can always go by uh, our favorite stores that begin with the word family. <laughs> oh, or should I say that contain the word dollar? <laughs> but they have some pretty nice little frames over there if you want to buy these pieces of pop mint. Item number two is a piece we call Transcendence, if you like that piece. Just put item number two and sold, and this piece will be yours for just $10. All these pieces come signed and numbered. Hey, we got people still checking into the room. How you doing, Spencer Boyer? Nice to see you, man. Glad to see you in the house. Glad to see you doing well. Um, hopefully y'all keep it cool out there. What are you drinking, y'all? Let me know what you're drinking out there because, hey, I'm hugging this frozen Perrier. Feels good going down. Item number three. It's a piece called Phoenix Rising. Phoenix Rising, the micro, matted micro print. Uh, this one is 8 by 10 also. You can frame this in a very, very small frame. Oh, we got a, we got a Facebook user. I'm assuming that's Pamela Hill. She might be out there because sometimes her her Facebook must be being watched by the government or something. So they, they she stripped down, no face. She got the black and white face with the pedophile cut out, hiding in the background. Facebook user face. <laughs> if that is Pamela Hill, just put your name so I can know that's you. <laughs> Hey, what's happening, Creole and Macklin? Thank you for choose uh, picking uh, for for checking into the show. You see my words all over the place today. Uh, th that's some, That's what I'm talking about. A Chick Fil A lemonade. You know what? Say what you want to say about uh, Chick Fil A, but uh, that that is a a, a mad uh, a lemonade. Sometimes I sneak off and buy the gallon from them. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yes, I'm glad you're drinking water and Gatorade, Mr. William Jones. The last time I saw you, you looked like you was about to fall out. It was hot. You need to get those electrolytes back in your system. Uh, and look at my man here. A lot, uh, Mr. Marzi always has a margarita. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, uh, it's been so hot, he resorted back to H2O. But I see he's back to margarita. Thank you for letting me know you're back on track. Overdue and catching up with the thunderstorm and flood. I know the weather is just so crazy. I'm just glad we don't have a lot of storms right now. But thank you all for chiming in and let me know what you're drinking. Uh, item number three again is Phoenix Rising, the mic the matted micro print. If you like that piece, just put item number three and sold, and that piece will be yours for just ten dollars. The last three prior pieces, only ten dollars. Hey, we got a nice little group of people in the room. I just want to say it again, y'all. This is our last show for a while. I am taking a hiatus in August to attend to a couple of uh, book signings and some other things. I've got some exhibitions coming up. So I'm going to take a small little break and resume in September. So hopefully you guys make note of that so you won't look for me next week. Uh, that's what we got, man. These are the micro mini prints. You know, we got our, we try to give you a little bit of options on the menu for some different things. Um, Item number three again is uh, Phoenix Rising. If you like that piece, just put item number three in sold, and that piece will be coming your way. <music> item number four. This is a popular piece we bring back every now and then. This piece is entitled Surrender. This is the Surrender Matted Mini Print. This piece measures like 10 and a half by 10 and a half. Nice little cozy size. That piece looks awesome, Frank. As you can see, this piece comes signed by yours truly. Uh, comes with black matte on it. That really nice piece. One of my favorite pieces that I've, I've done or created called Surrender. Uh, if you like that piece, item number four, just put item number four and sold. And you can have that piece today on Punch and Thunder 81 for just $10. And it does come signed. That's right. Surrender item number four, the matted mini print. If you like that piece, just put item number four sold, and that piece will be coming your way. 
Item number five. Item number five is a small catalog. You know, I did a show at the Frederick Douglass Isaac Myers Maritime Museum back in 2019, just before COVID hit. And um, uh, the book, the, the exhibition was called Music by Poncho. Now, folks lost their minds when they saw this because they thought I was doing music. And yes, I did music, but I painted. I, I can't play an instrument. I played the conga drums as a kid. I played bongos as a kid. I played the lead guitar as a kid. Notice I keep adding as a kid. That's right. Because I think all of my instrumental talents have dissolved into drinking. This is a small mini catalog um, of a few pieces that were in this exhibition. Small exhibition catalog. We like to do these for like nice collectibles. These go can go with your, with your certificates or anywhere you keep your private goods. Item number five, music by Poncho, the exhibition catalog. It measures eight and a half by eight and a half, and it's only $10. Come signed by yours truly if you like that piece. Just put item number five and music by Poncho. The exhibition catalog will be coming your way. Item number six. From time to time, y'all, um, we have these issues. Uh, the, the mental health uh, epidemic in this country is is leading us down a path it's been all been kind of stuff happening um you know i, I understand we are in a very very emotional times I, I do believe there are times when we need therapy we need to be doing more writing we need to be doing more drawing we need to be doing more journaling but if you, in case you don't feel like doing any of that these are coloring pages i was just uh planning to do an adult coloring book a couple of years ago never had the time to finish doing it but what i did was i decided to take one of those pages blow it up this piece is 13 by 19 inches, and it's got a lot of detail. And all you got to do is take your magic markers, your color pencils, your crayons, and just go at it, and you will get some instant therapy. This is item number six, the marketplace coloring page. That's right. You sign, you finish coloring this, and you're doing something. I'm planning on doing a contest one day. Well, I see, because we sold quite a few of these over the years, but I would like to do a contest to see what y'all did with these pieces. This is the poncho work. This is the... uh the uh the marketplace coloring page item number six if you like that and you need some therapy and you need to, uh you know we got this will keep from strangling somebody and uh also you can get one for them and that way they won't strangle you ha ha a two-way street item number six if you like this piece just put item number six and sold and this piece will be yours for just ten dollars again it measures 13 by 19 and that's almost the size of a placement y'all but it's fun 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 coloring have uh yeah why not don't tell me you can't draw a stick figure now I, I know how that works but this is just pure fun you know when you're drawing and writing your brain shuts down it, it it's it doesn't allow you when i say shut down it doesn't allow you to process problems uh uh, uh concerns worry it, it shuts that whole energy off when you're doing this kind of work and that's why art has always been therapeutic but this is an easy way to have some fun Item six and sold, and the marketplace coloring page will be coming your way. Item number seven. Item number seven is a piece. Uh, this is a uh, a classics gallery pack. I did three different packages of some of my most popular pieces. So if we look at this, there's eight different mini prints in this package. As a matter of fact, they all measure eight and a half by eleven. There's eight in a package. And they normally sell for $25. For the day on Punchathon number 81, I had no idea we would make it up in the 80s. But we have item number seven is the classes gallery pack number two. If you like that, you get all eight mini prints. You can buy this piece and separate and make uh, uh, eight people happy. Item number seven is the classics gallery pack number two. If you like that piece, just put item number seven and sold, and you get the gallery pack. Normally sells for twenty-five dollars today on Poncho Thon eighty-one. You can get this piece for just woo ten dollars. Wow! There you go, y'all. Item number seven and sold, and this piece will be coming your way. Hey, Carol Gray, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that. Hey, who's brave out there, y'all? Who's got their book? And can go out to my Facebook book, uh, my Facebook page, and click that uh, "Join us in the studio" link, "Join us live" link. 
come into the studio and chit chat to me about my book. I want to hear a little bit about how y'all think about it. You know, I've been trying so hard to make this show more interactive and a lot of you have participated and I appreciate that, but we're going to try to continue that uh, as we go on item number seven and sold and that piece will be coming your way again for just ten dollars item number eight moving up in size this piece right here you know, from time to time um i'd like to draw on my ipad um, i think it's refreshing because i don't have to have paint or pencils or ink um i could just bring um uh, my computer with my ipad with me i have two different sizes and I just draw pieces, and this is these are some of my iPad, iPad creations uh, using a program called Paper Fifty Three. Yes, um, this piece is entitled "Watching Over Us Number One." It measures thirteen by nineteen inches. Nice little piece that really speaks to whenever you see this style of work with me. I'm, I'm always dealing with the ancestors being with us and the ancestors watching over us. So most of the pieces where you see the multiple faces interlinked and eyes and third eyes, and um, that's what these pieces mean. Item number eight, if you like this piece, it's entitled Watching Over Us, number one. Uh, but on Poncho Thought, number 81, you can have this piece for $20. It measures 13 by 19 inches. Watching Over Us, number one. Item number eight, if you like that piece, just put item number eight and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number nine makes a great set. These two pieces are beautiful, set, especially for the odd looking space you're trying to figure out how to deal with. Uh, the colors are just related enough. Uh, they're facing towards each other. Uh, this piece is entitled Watching Over Us, number two, another one of my iPad creations. That's right. Um, these measure 19, 13 by 19. All of both of these pieces come signed and numbered. That's right. Not si I'm sorry, not signed and numbered. Signed. These are old edition pieces. Uh, item number nine is watching over us. Number two, if you like that piece, just put item number nine and sold. And that piece will be coming your way and add it to your collection. Item number 10. We bring this back from time to time. That's right, y'all. Many of y'all are still teleworking. Many of y'all all have had to redo your whole house so that you have a table where you can do Zoom calls. That, that's how much the world has changed. We are now conferencing one-on-one -on -one just in leisure. Uh, prior to COVID, it was only available corporately. And so now all of a sudden, all this stuff has come down in our lap. I'm telling you, so much has changed in this last two years, forever changed the way we work. But that's why these were created. This is the punch work mat. Uh, it measures 14 by 24 inches. It is a, a workstation for your mouse and your keyboard and your whatever else you want to put on it. These are, are really nice pieces. We've been doing very, very well with these. Um, but it's a nice way to decorate your workspace. Um, we have a guarantee that comes with the package that says, um, once you get this work mat, it keeps your workstation um, in order. <laughs> it's got another disclaimer around the of it. But anyway, y'all, if you like that piece, I know you see the size of that mouse. That's how big that pad is. If you like that piece, just put item number 10 and sold and the poncho work mat. And the title of this piece is Following the Path, which is the piece that's on the front cover of my book. If you like that piece, just put item number 10 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way. Uh, that's right, Mr. Mars. He says, work mats make loverly gifts. You're absolutely right. Hey, what's happening? One leg, I have both mats, uh, one and one at the office. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, um, you have to chime in and tell us, does it help you keep your workstation clean? Uh, and if it's the wrong answer, I'm not going to put it on the screen. <laughs> Item number 10, y'all, if you like that piece, just put item number 10 and sold. And the poncho work mat following the path will be coming your way for just $20, normally $22. We're getting ready to move into some prints right now, y'all. So, hey, I'm still waiting for a brave person to come online with me, chit-chat about the book. 
But meanwhile, I just want you to know that, hey, this is show number 81. Who would have thought? Moving into some prints, this is um, a piece. Look, you know, artists always have a few pieces that are favored for different reasons. I don't have a lot of favorites because I have so much work. But um, this piece right here is probably one of my favorite jazz pieces uh, that I've done. Um, I, don't, I don't even know why. I don't think it, I think it was the circumstances that I painted this piece. I think it was commission, and I really well, you know, commissions are very, very hard. And I'll tell you why commissions are hard because you got to work for a client. So when I go to paint my regular stuff, I just paint what I want to paint, how I want to paint it. But when you do a commission, you got to kind of. You know, you got to be at the beck and call of the person that's ordering this piece. So that means sometimes you got to add elements you don't want to add, or you're working within a conference to satisfy this client. And I think I was in one of my funky commission moves when I did this piece, but it worked out. It turned out pushing me a couple of different directions, um, using a slightly different color panel at this particular time, went a little more graphic than I normally go. Uh, item number 11 is a piece called Street Songs. It normally sells for $40. It measures 17 by 22 and a half inches. Today on Poncho Thon number 81, you can get three songs for just $25. If you like that piece, just put number 11 and sold in the comment section and street songs. My favorite of my jazz pieces will be coming your way for just $25. Item number 12. We're going to stay on the musical theme. This piece right here. Is titled the jazz dimension. And funny thing about these two pieces, they're at the same scale. So if you got an area that needs a couple pieces that are related, uh, same kind of thing, um, these might pair up pretty nicely. I am number 12. Again, is titled the jazz dimension. All of these pieces come signed by yours truly. They measure 17 by 12 and a half inches. They normally sell for $40. But today on Poncho Thon number 81. You can have this piece for just $25. If you like that piece, just put item number 12 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Hey, Jacqueline Philly R. Hopkins, thank you so much for item number 10. It is yours. Hey, Carla Jones, thank you so much. Item number 11, it is yours. Thank you so much. Um, hey, thank you. I appreciate that. Item number 12 again. Is just $25, the jazz dimension. Item number 13. Have shown this all on the show. This one is entitled Celebrate Freedom. That's right, Celebrate Freedom. Somehow, you know, sometimes you do older pieces and people assign them to things. And so somehow a Celebrate Freedom became a Juneteenth image in the eyes of some of my people. So several corporations have used this piece as a theme for their uh, routine celebrations as of late, because you know that's a popular thing. Item number 13 is a piece called Celebrate Freedom. It measures 17 by 22 and a half inches. Uh, today, you can get that piece for $25, normally $40. It comes signed by yours truly. If you like Celebrate Freedom, just put item number 13 and sold and Celebrate Freedom will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 14. Whoo, y'all, you know, summertime, summertime, some, some, summertime is blazing and is here. Uh, yes, we have a couple of shirts that have been doing very, very well over this summer. And we bring them back from time to time. This is item number 14, the Jinyame Rhythms Tea in orange. That's right. None of my shirts come in small, so don't hate me, small people. Uh, this shirt does come in a medium, item number 14. If you like the Jinyami Rhythms uh, T, it normally sells for $35. Today you can have it on Poncho Thunder 81 for $25. Now look, we don't penalize you for your exes on uh, Poncho Thon. We just don't. But on a website, when you buy these, each one of those sizes are a little bit more expensive when you get to double X, triple X, and three X. So today is a special. If you want to get this shirt just before summer wraps up and you want to be bold and sunny, just get item number 14. It's Jinyame Rhythms Tea in orange uh, today on Panchothon number 81. 
you can get that piece for just twenty five dollars. Hoard up, hoard up, give them for Christmas presents. Item fourteen and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Hey y'all, I don't know if you heard me, but we will be taking a hiatus in August. This is our last show for July. July went really, really quickly. Um, and uh, we'll, so we'll be recalibrating. I'll be taking care of some book signings and some other little travel and getting that out of the way. And then we'll come back in September and resume our shows. Uh, got a couple of breaks coming up because I'll be doing a lot of traveling this fall. As you can imagine, with the book, I have a lot of other um, exhibitions that are being planned for me. And we also have a Punch of Retrospective exhibition that's going to be happening towards the end of the year, too. So it's a lot going on, y'all. I'm just trying to keep up with it all. Um, but yeah, um, I'll be probably giving you more information about that. But I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the Puncher Retrospective Exhibition coming up in November. Item number 15, y'all. Woo! Item 15. We are having some technical difficulties, but it's going to be okay. That's right. Item number 15, y'all, is um, the Forgotten Journey tea, the Retro tea. That's right. We came out with Retro tea two years ago. It was uh, a Retro tea is the finest anything. It's a full color, full front, silk screen, multiple silk screen t shirt. These are very, very durable long lasting shirts the artwork is oversized so no i don't have some mediums they do the work is too big for a medium shirt uh so uh those of you that are in this medium section don't be mad at me these pieces are not for you item number 15 is the genome of uh, the uh, forgotten journey retro t in gray uh the size is a large xl double xl triple xl uh, these pieces normally sell for $50 per day on Poncho Thon number 81. You can have this shirt for just $4. That's right, $40. When you put down your shirt, uh, this number, put this item down if you decide to get this item. Make sure you include your size. If you don't give me a size, I'm going to send you a toddler size. <laughs> Woo! Item number 15. That's right, y'all. If you want that Forgotten Journey Retro Tee, just put item number 15 and sold, and that T-shirt will be yours for just one. Oh, what did I just say? For $40. That's right, y'all. Item number 15 and sold, and that will be coming your way. Hey, y'all. Where my brave folks at? Hey, thank you so much um, for your um, Celebrate Freedom, Miss Carla Jones. We'll take care of that for you. Uh, Miss Philia Hoskins was our winner of our trivia question last week. She may not have received her gift yet, but she will be receiving that shortly. Uh, am I going to have a trivia question today? Ah, okay. I'm going to, I got to think. I want to think something off the top of my head. Because, see, what I found is y'all really good at Googling. Y'all just be hitting the Google button and finding all kinds of stuff out there in the cyberspace area. Item number 15 and so. The Forgotten Journey Retro T in gray will be yours for just $40. Item number 16. 
There it is, y'all. The first time we've featured the part of retrospective book on the show, item number 81. For those of you that have been watching the show and have been hearing of all about this book but have not ordered it yet, this is your opportunity. This is a 256-page book that features over 305 of my images that have been created over the last 40 years. also has a nice little excerpt of my story, my personal journey as a creative in front of the book. And so um, this book was actually published by a group of people uh, in a Kickstarter campaign, which all of their names are listed in the, in the acknowledgement section. But if you want to be part of this whole thing and understand what I have been blabbing about for the last couple of months, item number 16 is the Poncho Retrospect book. It measures 9 by 12 inches. The book weighs about four, almost five pounds, y'all. Woo! Very nicely printed, item number 16, if you like that. Just put item number 16 and sold, and the Poncho Retrospective the book will be yours for $60. That's right, $60. Item number 16 and sold, and that will be coming your way. Item number 17. Back to the yard, y'all. You know, we got a couple really good uh, 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 months of good sunshine and flowers, and this piece is uh, something we bring back every now and then. This is item number 17. This is the Sister's Journey Garden Art. It is a stake that goes into the ground. It measures 24 inches from the bottom of the stake to the top of the head. Goes great in flower pots, flower beds, any place where you got uh, some floral arrangements. Um, maybe you just want to decorate your front yard. Maybe you just got a nice lawn and you need to pop a color in it somewhere. Item number 17 is the Sister's Journey Garden Art Large. We call it large because we do have a smaller version. It's 12 inches, but that's not for sale today. Um, what you got is, oops, we lost the image. What we got is a 24 inch piece today. This normally sells for $85, but today on Poncho Thon number 81, you can have this piece for just $60. I think $60 is the lowest this piece has been since we've been doing Poncho Thon. Item number 17, if you like this piece, just put item number 17 in the soul and the Sister's Journey Garden Art. Man, looks good in your yard. Um, your neighbor's gonna be looking at you and ask you where you got it from. You can always say, I got it from the I got it from London or someplace far, so they won't Google it. <laughs> Item number 17 and soul and the sister's journey garden art large will be yours for just $60. Item number 18. We used to have lost our feed. Um, you know, sometimes in the summertime, these computers will overheat on you in a heartbeat. And so right now, I'm going to give you something to watch until I can get this thing back where it's supposed to be. Here is another exhibition I have going on at the Children's Hospital that I'll tell you a little bit about once I get everything reconnected.
Hey, 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 that's right, y'all. You know, ha, ha, that exhibition came about as uh, my trip in January in Ghana. I was drawing some of the children there with my iPad and, 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 and letting them be able to see uh, these creations that I did of them. Got back home and the children's hospital saw a couple of them posted on my Facebook page while I was in Africa. And they asked me if I would do an exhibition with them, with these pieces. Uh, I started off just thinking I'd do a few, ended up doing 40 plus. And so the exhibition is going to be 40 pieces. And then they have two other locations at the hospital where they're going to put 10 each. That's 60 pieces all together. It's going to be exhibited between now and uh, January of next year. So hopefully you guys, and right now um, they don't have it open to the public. And the hospitals are still leery of COVID and all this other stuff. But they are p thinking about Feb having a physical artist reception. We're going to see how that goes, but we will be posting a link to um, the virtual exhibition uh, once that everything is put. Uh, I got, a, got a, uh, a, a nice text from someone that said, we'll I'll be selling images from the Children's Hospital exhibit at some point. You can go to my Facebook page. I mean, not my Facebook page, my website, larrypunchabrown.net, and you can see, go into the shop section, you'll see the Bridges Faces of Innocence collection. All of the pieces are available for sale right now on the website. So, yes, they are available. Hey, that's right, Carolyn Gray. She's way out there in the West Coast. She said UPS just got to the door, and she has her book. Fantastic. We've been knocking them out, y'all. We, we only have about maybe three or four more people that need to get their shipments, but we've been rolling. We got all of the books shipped. It, which was over 350 uh, books that were a reserve from our Kickstarter campaign. We got those books out just around 30 days from the time we received the books. The books came in on June 23rd. Uh, we made very, very good hitway. Item number 18, y'all. That's right. Item 18 is a sculpture piece. It's called the Nyame Dua Rhythms garden sculpture that right that piece right there is 24 inches too it is a garden stake um it's made out of steel and we decided we uh me and, and the notorious kyb karen buster decided to do a series of sculptures that will go in the yard and these are, are going very very well as but you want something a little different they can go into your flower pots or go into your flower beds this is it now it comes as raw steel it will um, it will oxidize and do its own thing over time, which is really, really wonderful because they really get their own character. Item number 18. If you like that piece, just put item 18 and sold. And then y'all may do a rhythms garden sculpture. You normally sells for $95 today. Well, you on Pancho Thon 81, you can get this piece for just $75. That's right, y'all. If you like that piece, just put item number 18 and sold. And that piece will be coming to your garden because y'all been spending some good time in your garden. And I'm really, I'm impressed by uh, how y'all got into your houses and everything once COVID hit. Uh, and and that, that whole flavor is still lingering. So keep this in mind. Art can go anywhere. Why not in your yard? Item 18 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way. We got one G Clay for the show. This piece is, uh, people say, well, you know, uh, that looks kind of uh, Picasso-esque. Yeah, well, Picasso stuff look like African stuff. So I'm doing a double hit. This this is reminiscent of my African side and my Picasso side. This is something called the Venus Factor. The Venus Factor. It's a 24 by 30 inch G Clay. It's a 62 edition. The original was done in acrylic and ink. Um, this piece normally sells for $400. But today on Jathon 81, you can get the Venus Factor for just... Two hundred dollars. Hey, y'all, where my brave folks at? I'm waiting for somebody to come into the studio and chit chat with me before we get off the edit. That be nice to see one of y'all faces and have me, you know, have a little conversation about your book. Tell me what you think about it. Hey, Carolyn, we got you covered, Miss Morrison. Uh, sure, Miss Morrison, because you look new. I don't think you're new, but you look new. Um, send us your email address and your uh shipping address to uh my DM, okay. Thank you. Um, Carla, thank you so much. I'm glad you like that. I try to do something that's a little different every now and then. I do occasionally get bored with myself in the studio. And I got to tell you, all I'm bored with myself right now. So I'm going to be, uh, you know, my and people think I paint all year round. 
I don't. As a matter of fact, I haven't done much painting since January. And so I am about to explode in the next couple of months with some new work. So be be looking out. I feel some some crazy stuff coming. Item number 19. If you like that piece, just put item number 19 and so in the Venus factor will be yours for two hundred dollars. Normally four hundred dollars. OK, well, sorry, Miss Carolyn. You know, sometimes I got to try to look at these faces that's this big on the screen and <laughs> and try to determine whether I've seen them or not. Your face does look very, very familiar. But thank you so much. I'm glad you're not new. You should be in our system then. So don't worry about that. Item number 19, y'all. If you like that piece, just put item number 19 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Where my brave folks at? Go to my Facebook page, log in, select that coming to the studio. Just uh, come, join us live, come into the studio, chit chat with me about your book. I would really appreciate somebody out there can do it. Hey, what you got out there? That's right. No more new works coming. That's right. Because I am bored with myself. That's how I describe it. Um, and I feel it coming. It's about time. I number 19 again and sold. And that piece will be yours for just $200. We got one more piece in the house in the print section that's going to be coming up. Because, you know, we try to give you a little bit of something different each time. Uh, but uh, we also got some small originals coming up. Item number 20, at last of our print, hey, item number 20 is a familiar favorite. This piece is the Forgotten Journey Classic Edition. The Forgotten Journey Classic Edition um, is a $500 print. It normally measures 24 by 34 inches. The G Clay is a 100 edition, okay? A 100 edition. Um, item number 20 is the Forgotten Journey. It does a total story the middle passage, and it's got a sleigh ship on the back. When I tried to design this piece, I saw a lot of people with Mickey Mouse and boyfriends' names and checkerboards and a lot of insignificant markings on the body. And I was like, well, what if I was going to do a tattoo? What would it be, and where would I place it? And this is what I came up with. Now, the original version of this in sketch form was a pregnant woman with the sh ship going up her stomach. And um, remember, this piece came out in the early 90s, mid 90s. People weren't ready for that kind of nudity just yet. So I decided to just use the man's back. I also did a female version from the back. But this is a classic piece. Um, today on Punch of Thunder number 81, we do a little special on this every now and then. You can get the Forgotten Journey Classic Edition uh, today, normally $500. It measures 24 by 34 inches for just 200 and fifty dollars if you don't have this piece in your collection this is the day to get it item number 20 on punch and thaw number 81 if you like that piece just put item number 20 and sold and the forgotten journey g clay will be yours for 250 dollars Woo! yeah i know a lot of people love this piece this piece has been getting good hype ever since i created it uh, I would have to go in my top 10 of favorite pieces. Uh, item number, I'm not going to get to item number 21 yet. Um, yeah, it's it's one of my favorite pieces. So if you like that piece, uh, we have shown it quite a few times. Sometimes we pair it up with the female. We decided to do it a little solo this time. Hey, it's among your favorite works. Frames up nicely. Thank you so much, Mr. Marzi. Um, That's right, y'all. This is a classic piece uh, by me. Uh, but you know what? This is the time. Show number 81. I would have never imagined that we would have made the 81 shows, but we are glad to continue broadcasting. I'm going to take a small break next month uh, and then come back strong with some more stuff in September. You know, we are getting to that portion of the show where we like to present some original works. So let's do the original works countdown. <music> Our computers are running hot today. They're running hot. That's right, y'all. Sometimes it's like that. You know, we're in the buck of summertime. So 
yeah, we do get some uh, kickback from the electronics every now and then. This is item number 21. Item 21 is from my sketchbooks. You know, I've been showing you a lot of my sketchbooks because uh, many people never get a chance to see my sketches, drawings, and studies at shows. Um, and, and then they're very, very good collectible pieces and moderate prices that do appreciate rather quickly. This one is entitled A Bird in the Hand. A Bird in the Hand. That's right. Item number 21 is a journal sketch. It measures five by seven inches. That's right, y'all. It's entitled A Bird in the Hand. If you like that original piece and want to add that to your collection, just put item number 21 and sold and a bird in the hand will be added to your original collection. Item number 22. Remember, these are all one of a kind, only one on planet Earth. The next piece is called Path to Heal. Path to Heal, another sketch from my journal. Um, you know, it's an introspective piece. She's into herself. She's pondering. She's um, just doing an overview of where she is, trying to tap into her inner spirit. Item number 22 is Path to Heal. This piece known to sell for $400, unframed. It's five by seven today on Poncho Thon number 81. You can have this piece for just $250. I think I created this in 2006. If you like that piece, just put item number 22 in soul, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number 23. Item number 23 is from my journal sketches as well. This one is entitled No More. No More. If you see, it's a very strong looking black man with a noose over his back. That's right. No more. Do I need to say any more about that piece? I was going, I evidently was thinking about some deep stuff anytime I draw a man noose over his back. But that's what's up. When I do my journal sketches, I'll let my imagination run wild. Item number 23 is a piece called No More. The sketch. It's five by seven. You normally sells for four hundred dollars a day on Ponder Thunder at eighty one. You can have no more in your art collection for just two hundred and fifty dollars. Item number twenty three and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number twenty four. You know, I've been showing creation the last couple of weeks. Some of y'all been sleeping. This piece right here is done by an artist by the name of Louise Cutler out of Colorado. We did a, a creative quarantine together, I think, uh, two Januaries ago. If you want to see more about that, you can go to YouTube and put in Creative Quarantine Springfield, and you can see more of Louise Cutler's work. But this is a collaboration between Louise Cutler and myself. Uh, the title of this piece is Courage and Tears. Courage and Tears. It has a Black Lives Matter kind of a theme, and it has a mother also for tear in the eye. Um, that's what we're talking about. We're trying to do some pieces that are thought provoking, but this is a collaboration piece where we both were kind of con trying to come up with a concept that could merge together. I think we did a pretty good job on it. Item number 24 is one of the collaborations we show on the show occasionally. If you like that piece, item number 24. Just put item number 24 and sold. And this collaboration, Courage and Tears by Louise Cutler and Larry Poncho Brown, will be yours. Normally, this piece would sell for $800. But on Poncho Thon number 81, you can have this piece for $400. It measures 8.5 by 11. And it is a mixed media piece. You also get a little another flavor in this piece. And that background was created by my father, who was also an artist. Item number 24 is a very, very nice mixed piece with a little bit of history in it. If you like that piece, just put item number 24 and sold, and that piece will be yours for just $400. Item number 25. Our last piece of the day. If you uh, are looking for something a little different from me, I did a whole series of dance pieces, nude dance pieces at that. This piece is entitled Levitation. I'm sorry levitate levitate the original it measures eight and a half by eleven it is mixed media this piece would normally cost eleven hundred dollars this piece today on poncho thon number 81 you can have levitate for just 550 dollars that's right y'all 
we try to bring it to you, give you something a little different each week. Um, that 25, 26 menu has been working well for us. It gives us the time to give you a little bit more information about the pieces. And, you know, we just try to make the show a little bit more interactive. I'm sorry nobody picked up the whole thing of uh, chiming into the show today. And uh, we did not have a trivia question, but that's okay. I'm going to cook up a new batch of trivia questions for when we come back in September. Again, y'all, thank you for tuning in. I am going to be taking the hiatus for August. So if you all are, um, you know, tell me what you're doing over the summertime because I'm going to take a little small break. I got some upcoming shows. Please check my Facebook pages out regularly so you can see where I'm going to be. Um, I'm, I'm sure that by me being off next week, some of my date announcements probably won't reach you, but we also will send out something through our email. I want to take this time to thank you all for tuning in with us. Thank you so much. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate your patience. I appreciate your support. Um, we are living in some volatile times, y'all, but we're going to be fine. It's going to be all right. Have you seen the trailer to Wakanda Forever? Woo-hoo! I'm already ready. I know you're ready, too. I love you all. Until next time, I'm going to take a little break, and I'll be back all refreshed. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Jackie. Uh, thank you, Miss Stevens. I will have a little good time off. Hey, thank you so much, Miss Grace. See you later. Hope you enjoy your book. Tell me what you think about it. How you doing, Miss Wes? I'm glad you were tuned in, but thank you for tuning in. I will see you all again in September. Until next time, I love you, and uh, I will be seeing you soon. And if you need to find out any new information about what's going on with me, just check into my Facebook page and we will keep you up to date. Until next time, y'all. Love you much. Yeah.